All right, YouTube, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. February 8th, we have 10, I believe 10, I counted right, NBA games to jump into. Today, we'll take you through each and every game. I'll give you what I'm thinking, give you where my head's at, give you my lean on the game, but keep an eye on the pinned comment that I update throughout the day for my final plays. If you guys want to fade me, if you guys want to ride with me, whatever you want to do, my final plays will be in the pinned comment. Last night, we went 2-2, two and two and we also lost our ride of the day. If you don't know what the ride of the day is, I'll talk about that in just a second. Actually, screw it. We'll talk about it right now, guys. Um, if you want to if you want to jump something in the comments there and throw it in there, use hashtag ride of the day. Hashtag ride of the day. I'm picking one person in the comments, and I'm riding with your pick. Yesterday, unfortunately, we got to give a womp womp. The ride of the day was Chris Paul. I jumped on my boy Jack here. It's Chris Paul over 11 and a half assists. He finishes with 11 assists. So, 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 so close. But we lost our ride of the day there. Um, but, guys, yeah, use ride of the day in the comments and give me one pick, and I'm jumping on it. Usually, I like to go with the player prop. So, if you guys want to give me a player prop to ride with, you guys get a shout-out, winner, loss in the next video. But, uh, yeah, tough, tough one for last night. But use hashtag ride of the day. And also, while we're doing shout-outs, I guess we're starting the video off a little weird here. We'll jump into the hashtag that I hear. So, shout-out to DJ100. Hashtag back was yesterday's hashtag that I hit. Scotty Barnes over 7.5 rebounds. Scotty finished with eight boards, so shout out to DJ100. Guys, hashtag that I give you a new hashtag each and every day at the end of the video. And if you guys have a winning night with your picks, you guys can give me 10 picks. You can give me one pick like DJ did here. If you guys have a winning night, a positive night, a positive night, you guys can get shouted out in the next video. But I guess this video is just total shout outs so far. I don't even know if I had anything to plug or anything to intro with, but uh, we can jump right into it now. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Shout out to bad intro. Shout out to uh, DJ 100 and also shout out to Jack there for the shout out of the day. And stay tuned to the end of the video for today's hashtag of the day. But uh, let's jump right into it here. We have the Sixers hosting the Sun Sixers two point favorites here. Um, the Suns just playing last night, got the three-point win over Chicago. They were eight-point favorites. We, we weren't too sure about that game, um, and I'm glad we kind of stuck away from it because the Suns were eight-point favorites, only won the game, but they, they did win. They got the dub, but they only won it by eight here. I think, honestly, on a back-to-back, -back, I think I lean Philly in this one. I don't love the fact that we're getting probably the worst team as favorites here, but the Suns team on an East Coast trip playing at 7 o'clock back-to-back. I'm going to lean Philly. This is probably one that I stick away from and maybe just enjoy as a fan because it's going to be a good game, but I'm going to lean Philly here minus two. Next up, we have the Nets plus five and a half points against my Boston Celtics here. In terms of injuries, Kevin Durant's still out. James Harden's questionable. Claxton's questionable. Paul Millsap's out. LaMarcus Aldridge has been out, and same thing with Joe Harris. That's for the Nets, and then for the Celtics, no notable injuries whatsoever. The Celtics team, five wins in a row, and the Nets, eight losses in a row. So, I don't know. I don't love this five and a half number, but I think I got to lean my boys here. I got to lean the Celtics minus five and a half. I, again, I don't love that number. That isn't a smart number for me for the Celtics. I probably won't touch that, but you guys know I don't bet against the Celtics. I'm completely, completely transparent about that. I am biased, sue me. But uh, I think that this, this Celtics team may be turning something on here, and the Nets, no, 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 no. Very, very opposite. So I'm going to lean Celtics here minus five and a half. Next up, we have the Hawks, minus 9.5 over the Pacers here. The Hawks are at home. We know that they have been a better team at home this season, but definitely as of late, they're 6-1 and one at home in their last seven home games, and against the spread, they're 6-1 and one as well. Brogdon's questionable. Turner's still out. Jackson's questionable. Um, for Atlanta, Danilo Gallinari's questionable, and Lou Williams is doubtful. This Indiana Pacers team, three losses in a row here, four out of the last five lost. The Hawks coming off of two losses. I don't love the 9.5 half number here I think the Hawks pull this one out and I think they probably cover so I have to kind of chalk the favorite here they are just way better at home but I don't love this game I'm probably going to stay away from it um if I'm being completely honest but I'm going to lean Hawks here minus nine and a half especially if Brogdon doesn't play um and he's a huge piece of that Indiana's Pacers team and we've seen them be pretty pretty damn bad when they have all their guys injured there I mean Sabonis can't do it all um, next up, we have the Pacers or the Pelicans, excuse me, seven and a half point favorites here hosting the Rockets. Uh, this is one of those psycho games, guys. <laughs> it is the the Pelicans and the Hawks, but we're going underdog. We're we're going underdog central here. Pelicans three wins in a row. They just beat Houston by thirteen points a few nights ago. So I think that all of a sudden this is sort of the oh two 
two bad teams play each other and they split this little mini series here. So for no real reason, no research, just gut instinct, I am going to be leaning Rockets plus seven and a half here. Uh, yeah, I don't know if you guys want to tail that pick because that is just kind of like an eeny, meeny, miny, mo pick for me. And uh, we're going with it. Um, next up, we have the Grizzlies hosting the Clippers. I feel like we're flying through this, but hey, maybe I'm just talking too fast. Um, Grizzlies, eight-point favorites here hosting the Clippers. This Grizzlies team, they were on that little bit little bit of a run. They've kind of cooled off a little bit. They still, you know, uh, six and seven and three in their last 10 games. Um, Clippers haven't been that great, but the Clippers have had some tough, tough games and tough, tough teams to play. Um, I don't know if I like the Grizzlies in this one. Eight points seems like it's a lot. Um, Dylan Brooks still out. I think that we, I lean Clippers. I don't want to do that whatsoever, but for whatever reason, something's telling me out in this universe that eight points is a lot here for the Grizzlies, and the Grizzlies have been winning two games and then losing, and then winning two more games and then losing. So we're rolling underdogs here. It's not an educated pick, just FYI, but what is? I'm a dummy out here. Um, but that's two weird underdogs we're going with in a row here. Houston and then Los Angeles, the Clippers. Next up, we have the Mavericks, 11 and a half points over the Pistons. Yeah, I'm just going to roll with the Mavericks. Porzingis, he's not going to play. Brown is questionable. Kleber's out. But I think you just got to bet against the Pistons at this point. They've dropped four straight. Um, two out of the last, uh, two and eight in their last 10 games. They were actually playing kind of decent against the spread for a while. They are six and four in the last 10. But uh, this Mavericks team's been playing really well against the spread here, and especially at home. They're four, two, and one. So that's a big number, 11 and a half. But Dallas, as long as Luka's in the game, I do feel they're confident to beat up on bad teams. And then the Pistons are just about as bad as you get. So I'm going to be leaning Dallas here, minus 11 and a half. Um, guys, before we continue with the rest of the picks, I'm going to ask you guys, if you are enjoying, if you are still here, please hit that subscribe button, like the video, and then stay tuned to the end of the video for the hashtag of the day so you guys can drop that in the comments and possibly get a shout out. So make sure to comment too, but wait till the end of the video to get that hashtag of the day. It will pop up on the screen. Um, all right, let's keep going here. We got the Nuggets, seven-point favorites over the Knicks. This Nuggets team getting a win against Brooklyn just a couple nights ago, but the Knicks have lost six out of their last seven games. The Nuggets, three out of the last four, neither one of these teams is playing too well here, but for whatever reason, I just cannot trust this Knicks team whatsoever. They hung with Utah last night, I guess you could say that, but still got the eventual L, um... This Knicks team's puzzling to me. They really are. They're 2-8 and eight in their last 10 games. Um, when they are underdogs, they're 0-7. Oh and, and they're underdogs again tonight. Um, I think we have to lean. I think we have to lean Denver here. Jokic is playing MVP-level basketball. I think that we lean Denver here at home, minus 7, catching the Knicks on the second night of a back-to-back. -back. Um, Lakers, plus 4.5 points here, hosting the Bucks. This Bucks team. Last 10 games, this Bucks team is 7-3. and three. Against the spread, they're 5-5. Five and five. Lakers against the spread, actually positive in the last 10. 6-4 and four at home, they're 2-1. and one. Um, In terms of injuries here, we have uh, Grayson Allen upgraded to probable and George Hill downgraded to out against the, uh, or for the Bucks. And then the Lakers, Carmelo Anthony is out. Dwight Howard is questionable. Um, Milwaukee, three wins in a row here. Washington, Portland, and Clippers. Not the most impressive wins, but the Lakers have still been inconsistent. You guys remember a few videos back, I was like, I think that they're going to turn the corner. I think they're going to, I don't know if this Lakers team is ever going to click this season. You know, we're approaching the trade deadline for, you know, and, and, and it's, they still just don't seem to be turning it on. So at this point, I think I just roll with the hotter team. Milwaukee is the hotter team. I think that the better team, I'm sure LeBron will get up for some serious competition against Giannis, but four and a half points seems like a decent number. We're going to lean the away team here. Minus four and a half points for the Bucks. Next, we have the Kings getting three and a half points as underdogs here hosting the Timberwolves. This Timberwolves team's four wins in a row. They're playing some good basketball. Sacramento, two out of the last three, though. Uh, Beverly's questionable. D'Angelo Russell's questionable. Prince is questionable. Kogi's questionable. And then for Sacramento, Fox is questionable. Bagley is questionable here. This Hawks team, or the Hawks, the uh, the Kings. The Kings are two and eight in their last ten. Minnesota, seven and three. Um... You guys know I've been kind of a Minnesota hater. I feel like they've gotten weird lines all year long. But I think if De'Aaron Fox is out, I think you got to lean Minnesota here. Um, 
you know, they have the best player in this game, Carl Anthony Towns, by far. So I'm going to lean Minnesota minus three and a half. This is one that's probably a psycho game. Like, I don't think I'm going to play this. If you do have a strong, strong take on this, you're probably a psycho, but um, it is all good. Um, next, we have the Trail Blazers minus three and a half points over the Magic here at home. This Blazers team, three and seven in the last 10 games against the spread. They're four and six at home. They're one and three in the last four against the spread. They're not playing great basketball, but neither is this Orlando Magic team. So I am going to lean towards the home team here minus three and a half points it doesn't seem like it's that many points to cover and it's not excuse me so I'm going to lean with the uh, Blazers here minus three and a half points that's going to wrap it up for the predictions portion of this video guys I feel like we just went through a lot of games in a short amount of time um, but it's early in the morning we're grinding through it we're trying to bring these videos to you guys um, no video tomorrow so keep that in mind. No video tomorrow, but we are back to being consistent. We are going to grind, and I appreciate everyone that stuck through uh, this this crazy time with me. Um, I'm sure I'll explain to you guys what's going on and what's happened at some point. Maybe. I don't know. Um, probably not, but probably. That's just how we work. But, uh, guys, let's get into the hashtag of the day. If you do want to be shouted out in tomorrow's video, again, you can use hashtag ride of the day. We talked about that earlier. But if you guys want to give me your plays, give me what you're rolling with. It could be 10 picks. It could be two picks. If you have a positive night, a winning night, you guys just got to use hashtag roll. Let's get on a roll here. Hashtag roll in the comments. Give me your plays, what you guys are running with. And um, if you guys have a positive night, you guys have a chance to be shouted out in tomorrow's video video i love incorporating you guys and shutting you guys out in these videos we're up to two different ways of being shouted out you know probably in a year's time it's going to be like the whole video is just shout outs and i don't even mind because i like you guys being involved so hashtag roll use that in your comments give me everything you're playing tonight if you guys have a four and three night you have the same amount of uh, opportunity to be shouted out as someone that goes four and oh all you got to do is go positive win some money make your pockets a little bit heavier make them sound a little bit more like they got more change in them you guys have a chance to be shouted out. So that's going to wrap it up for today's video, guys. Please hit that subscribe button, like the video, and uh, make some bread tonight. Peace out.